Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we are reviewing a special sneaker that just came out today. So big shout out to Labor Skate Shop for the Raffle W and I'll catch y'all in a bit, alright? Alright y'all, so we're back in the crib now and once again I have to give a big shout out to Labor Skate Shop for the Raffle W because I definitely entered mad skate shops and mad raffles and you guys were the only one that chose me so again I am grateful for y'all. So what we got right here is none other than the Nike SB and April Skateboards Dunk Low and I have to say guys this joint right here is super fire, super clean, the colors pop out and I just love the quality on this sneaker. But before I even continue guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell, because again, we did hit our 3000 subscriber mark, but I'm trying to grow the channel even more and I can't do that without y'all help. So be sure to let y'all friends and family know. And with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna start off with the box details of this sneaker real quick, because again, it's very simple and the standard 2023 Nike SB box. So what we got right here is that sale Nike SB box with the Nike SB logo. And then we do have the sticker tag right there. And it does read off as Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike. And the colorway shown is racer blue and metallic silver. But I'm actually shocked that the colorway doesn't say turbo green because the colorway is very similar to the Air Jordan 1 Turbo Green that actually released a couple years back. But it is what it is on that. Then when looking at the sizing, I did go with a size 8.5 and I 100% recommend in all of my Nike SB videos to go a half size up on the sneaker because it pretty much has a very thick tongue as well as that Nike zoom insole. So that air bubble that's in it actually makes the shoe have that tighter grip and that closer feel to the board. And that's why with that half size up, you do have that little space for your feet to fit in. And then it has that perfect nice fit that the SBs always have. Then when we open the box right here, there's pretty much nothing else to it. We just have that weatherman looking tissue paper right there. And then we do have this Nike SB sticker in the seal colorway. So when you look at this sticker tag right here, it really isn't anything important to be honest. So with that being said, that's gonna conclude the box details. And now I'm focusing onto the history of this beautiful shoe right here. There is a lot of it. So starting off with the founder and owner of April Skateboards, Shane O'Neill. He is actually an Australian skateboarder who was sponsored by Nike from the age of 14, which means that he is extremely nice because at that early age to be sponsored by Nike SB, that's a big thing. But it doesn't stop there. He actually worked for Primitive Skateboards, which was a skateboarding brand that was founded by Paul Rodriguez and many other skateboarders in the year of 2008. And Shane pretty much started working there in the year of 2015. And then in June of 2018, it was announced that Shane would no longer be working for the company. And he pretty much left saying that he is going to start his own skate brand. And not even a year later on May 15th of 2019, that is when April Skateboards actually was launched and they were completely different. The vibes and what they was actually bringing to the table with the designs and stuff was pretty fire in my opinion. They have this kind of futuristic goth slash chrome vibe into their designs and I think it looks really cool. So one of the major designs that you can actually see on this April skateboard is the chrome rose, which I'll get into later into this video. And with that being said, guys, that's gonna conclude the brand history of April Skateboard Shop. And now let's just get right into the details of the sneakers. So now I'm focusing onto this toe box right here. You can see that we have that beautiful tumble leather. And then when looking at the mud guard, you can see that we have it in that racer blue. However, it isn't in that hairy suede material, nor is it in that backstroke motion premium suede. So I think this is more of a doorbook because it definitely feels very durable. And then when moving up onto the shoe now, you can see that we have those white laces right there. And what I love about these laces is the fact that it does come with those chrome tips. And then when moving onto the tongue of the shoe, it actually has this pretty interesting material. So you can actually see that there's mesh in the shoe, but there's this kind of screen layer over that mesh, which is pretty interesting to know. Then we move onto the top of the tongue, as you can see right here, we do have that capital A for April. And then when we look towards the bottom of that, you can see that it does say Dunk Low Pro. And then when moving onto the lateral side of the shoe, this is where the sneaker really shines in my opinion, because you can see that beautiful chrome Nike check right there. And then we have this kind of silver colored mesh, but it does feel more of a woven material because it definitely feels way more durable. Then when moving towards the back heel area now, you can see that we do have this beautiful April logo in that April Skateboards font, which is pretty nice. 
Then we're moving on to the back heel area of the shoe. Now we do have that April logo again, but it's more in that chrome material, which looks really nice on that Nike back heel tab. Then we're moving on to the middle side of the shoe. You can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit. But something that I wanna briefly mention is the fact that the sneaker does come with extra laces. However, there isn't really much differences because they're both white, but the only difference is that the lace tips on this pair is actually in that plastic material, as opposed to the stock laces having that chrome tip. Then another beautiful detail that comes with the shoe is these insoles, man. So this is the custom April skateboards insole. And as you can see, it does have that chrome beautiful rolls with that nice fade detail, man. And I think that it looks really beautiful on the sneaker and things like this is what really makes me appreciate these collaborations because when you see certain details like this, obviously it's not meant for everybody to see other than the owner of the shoe, but I love the effort that they put in printing this onto this insole. It looks extremely amazing, but it doesn't actually stop up there so when you actually look at the outsole of this beautiful sneaker you can see that same chrome rose detail and i think it looks beautiful with that icy sole man the only thing that's disappointing is the fact that this is an icy sole so when this sneaker eventually gets yellow it's not going to look as pretty as this but still it's a wonderful detail and something that i thoroughly enjoy about the shoe one more thing that I want to mention is the fact that when you actually look at the inside of this tongue tab, you can see the date May 15, 2019. And this is the exact date that April Skateboards actually opened and was founded. And I think that's a pretty nice detail that they added and was something that I wasn't really going to look at, but something just told me, yo, there's always these extra details on these SBs, so be sure to check it out. And what do you know? I found something else. So one more thing that I wanna mention, guys, before I conclude the review is the fact that the sneakers are pretty much the same on both the left and right foot, but there is some small differences. So when you actually look at the tongue tab on the right foot, you can see that Nike SB logo, but it does have that nice April font. And then when we go onto the back heel area, now you can see that Nike logo instead of this April logo that was on the left shoe, which is a pretty nice touch. And with that being said, guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude all the history and details of the shoe. So now let's get right into this on full look, all right? Child. so that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it for y'all definitely let me know what you think about the nike sv and april skateboards dunk low i think that it's super fire and super clean and definitely reminds me of the air jordan one turbo green but i want to know what y'all think in the comment section down below so other than that don't forget to like share comment and subscribe y'all already know the rest and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace